I'm going to say up front that I am not a modder. I am not really somebody who has ever dabbled in that scene whatsoever. However, I am somebody who does enjoy picking apart mods and, you know, seeing what they're all about and all this stuff and actually trying them out for myself. I do that quite a bit when I play games on PCs, a lot of times with them being Square Enix games like Final Fantasy 15. But one thing in particular, now that Kingdom Hearts is coming to PC, there's a couple things that I do want to bring up when regarding this topic, since I've already made two other videos about this, this was going to be a bit more focused. Um, I didn't actually say this in the previous video when the news about Kingdom Hearts coming to PC actually happened, but there is one thing I do want to specify for everybody. The Epic Games Store, unlike Steam, doesn't natively support mods. That's something that I do want everybody to know. However, at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter because there's a lot of games on Steam that the games themselves don't natively support modding. But because the game is on PC, it makes it way easier to actually just open up your file explorer and actually go to where the game is installed at and go within its files. It's literally as easy as that. So that's how easy it is to actually get to the files of a PC game. And there are tons of websites like Game Banana and stuff like that that actually let you upload mods for games and you can literally just download them from the website and click and replace the, the files of the actual game with what's here so it's literally as easy as that and there are tons of games on steam that that's the only way you can really mod them for sonic is a big game series on steam where that's practically the only way you can really mod games because you can't really go to the steam workshop where they normally hold mods to actually be able to mod it the persona games are the similar way with persona 4 golden and that's the only way you can actually mod the game because you can't really go to the actual Steam Workshop and get a whole bunch of mods like say you could Final Fantasy 15 and just click the button and boom you have a mod now. But that's not necessarily what this video is about. There's another direction I want to go for this uh, video, as I'm sure you could already tell by the title and thumbnail. I want to see how far these Kingdom Hearts modders can go. Maybe you can consider this a video when I'm, where I'm issuing a challenge to any of you out there who consider yourselves modders or your inspiring modders or anything along those lines. If you have any intention to mod these Kingdom Hearts games in any way, I'm taking up this challenge for you. It is completely your decision if you choose to take this up or not. I feel one thing I want the most is for modders to be able to restore Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 and recode it. This is something that I feel that I really wish Square Enix did. I know at the time when the HD remixes were coming out, it was probably wiser and more financially uh, uh, understandable to recreate the DS games in the forms of movies. However, most people who have actually played the DS games would know that it is still very much worth playing these games because the movies have to cut out so much, I guess, quality of life dialogue. And I genuinely feel that the game versions of these stories are so much better because there's so much more dialogue. You get to see so much more personality of characters and charm that just doesn't make their way into the actual movies. And I know some people already feel Days is like say their favorite story in Kingdom Hearts just based off of seeing the movie. But if you feel that strongly about the movie, then I feel you're going to absolutely adore the actual game story, which of course contains a lot more than what the movie does. But at the end of the day too, I also understand why they did it. It was, again, it was probably better financially to do that kind of thing. And because it was a DS game, there's probably more fluff that they felt like if they really wanted to make it into a movie, they could remove some stuff, especially like with a lot of what happened in the Disney worlds and stuff like that. Uh, they just went ahead and just removed that stuff. Even if it's, you know, seemed important to the relevant plot of that point in the game, it might not have, you know, really mattered when doing a lot of the stuff. And of course, we don't actually get to see a lot of the times when these people we care about so much are actually out on missions and what they go through and the actual process of becoming closer we don't actually get to see that in the day's movie we just skip ahead to where they've already experienced these things together so we see their relationship blossom at a much faster pace which is kind of why i feel like the pacing of the movie is a bit i guess weird to me it's a little too fast but in a way i can also understand because that ain't no short movie either it's not like what you go and see in the theater recoded is one of my absolute favorite 
games in the series, not really for its story, because obviously I, I don't think it's really a secret that the Recoded movie is one of the uh, weaker stories in the franchise. However, I do feel that the actual Disney worlds are some of the best in the series. They're way more involved. They feel way more fun to do. And honestly, it, it has one of the biggest adventure feelings in the entire series. I'm not too sure what would be required for something like this, though. I'm not too sure if they would be able to actually break into the movies and use the scenes from that. However, I'm not too sure that would actually be possible because again, it's a movie. It's not like it's a game, so they can't actually break into what's probably just a rendered video. Uh, so I, I don't want to, I don't really think we can count on that. However, there is a lot of places that we've been to um, in 358 Days Over 2 that are showing up in other games. So I feel if they were able to take what was done in those other games, and recreate it for this specific remake that would be absolutely fantastic because again there are people out there with projects of remaking the game from scratch and i feel it would be way easier to use existing assets even if it's not exactly one-to-one -one as what the original ds game had it would probably be way easier to extract assets from other kingdom hearts games to recreate days and uh, recoded than to completely build all of the worlds from scratch. So if they can build these worlds from scratch, people can absolutely take part from other games and stuff like that and weave them together into being one specific game. You know, I, I personally think that that has to be some kind of possible. And again, I can sound completely ignorant. I can probably have some, there's probably some modders looking at me right now, shaking their head, already typing in the comments, and I'd completely understand, you know, but at the end of the day, I feel these games are too good to not, you know, have people have a way of experiencing. And of course, it sucks that, you know, this would only be available on PC because this kind of thing is only really feasible on PC. Let's not get it twisted. You know, this is this is freaking amazing that this is even going to be feasible. But who knows? I'm not a modder, but I know this is a very uh, scatterbrained video, I guess. But I really wanted to talk about it, and I already tried recording a different Kingdom Hearts video, but I don't know. I guess my mind was not in it, but I, I couldn't stop thinking about the possibilities of remaking days. It's just the combat um, in, in that game. I feel there's so much more in the menuing and everything about the equipment and how the going on the missions actually feels. I feel that yeah, the DS game did it okay, as, as good as a DS game could do it, I feel. But if it, imagine if it got that 2021, um, I guess, clean and touch up. That would be absolutely beautiful. It would be absolutely beautiful. And I feel Recoded would certainly need this as well. Though I feel the base game of Recoded, in terms of gameplay, far exceeds that of what Days does. I even feel that Days' uh, Recoded's gameplay is much better than Birth by Sleep and Dream Drop Distance. Uh, I would honestly go as far to say that. Um, but I would love to see this modernized in an actual console game style instead of just a movie. If they want, you could even use the cutscenes from the movie as the cutscenes for the games. Because as you know, for the Days, game and recoded game they ended up actually remaking some of the cutscenes as voiced regular cutscenes for the movies when before they were just text bubble cutscenes in the ds games but this is something i would love to see if you think you're competent enough to be able to handle something like this or even if some of you guys need to get together and make this like a community project or something this would be absolutely wonderful Thank you guys so much for watching. Do you guys, would you guys play uh, this? Uh, if you guys plan on getting the game for PC, would you be down to actually give Days and Recoded a try if you haven't already, if they were modernized in the, the style of the uh, numbered titles? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We are now over 10K, so thank you guys so much for all that support. And I was only skyward from here. So if you guys enjoy the content and you guys are fans of the JRPG genre, then I would highly recommend you guys Guys hit the subscribe button as it would really help us out as a community but thank you guys so much for watching my name is kingdom ace and remember my warriors of courage to stay strong stay beautiful and always look skyward